So yeah. we are so excited to have Jane and Nick from Forwardly with us. We are, I, I've been excited because this is, this is new to us, te like technology, and we love that on Happy Hour. So we're excited to hear about this really cool next level payments technology that we're going to be able to bring to our clients. I certainly agree. And for those of you who have been paying attention to Forwardly, they were at our conference last year. So you might have been able to meet Nick and Jane in person. Mm -hmm. yep. And we had them come on our live episode there because we really wanted to just give an introduction. And today we get to do a deep dive. So I am grateful for our guests. Yes. And it's like you said, Heather, anytime there, there's new technology that's doing cool stuff that we haven't seen before, I get wicked excited. And you said wicked, also a Northeast term. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's the wicked time of year too. It is the wicked time of year. We've got all these, we're, all, we're full of all kinds of little quips today, aren't we? <laughs> Maybe that just means we're on a roll. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you how awesome it was to get on. So Liz and I got on a call yesterday, and in her background is spider webs and a big old spider behind her. Like she's got her decorations for Halloween up already. I love that. I do, I do. It's my favorite time of year. I know that it's early. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm stoked. Well, so Heather, I think our friends are joining us. And so do you want to welcome everyone by introducing yourself? Yes. So uh, I'm Heather Satterley. If I haven't met you, um, I see lots of people that I have met. So welcome back. Uh, I am the Director of Education and Media at Woodard. I'm also a, a, a CPA and I've been in the accounting, an accountant, I should say, for the past almost 30 years, if you can believe it. And so uh, the love, my passion is technology. So the, the, the tools that help us to do our job better, more efficient and bring uh, peace of mind to our clients. So that's me. We love what you add into our industry and grateful for it. And I have been thrilled to be in this opportunity of a space to be able to create accounting technology training and deliver it to all of you. So in the background, if you're looking at some of the apps that are around and you're thinking, hey, I um, need how-to tutorials, that's a lot of what I do. So on-demand training, articles, videos, that sorts of things. So that way we have how-tos whenever we're utilizing new apps. And speaking of how-tools, I'm going to do a shameless plug about our Scaling No Heights call for papers, which closes this weekend. So for those of you like uh, Alicia Katz called it, um, who, who I did see submitted her call for paper. So she gets an A plus, um, you can do that up until Saturday. Good job, Alicia. We're not going to say what my grade is. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to skip little, right over. Give me my little stick. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to go right over to Jay. So Jay, <laughs> welcome today. I am glad that you are joining us. And as the director of operations at Forwardly AI, it has been fun to be able to talk to you because again, you're bringing in a wealth of information into our industry. And I would just love to turn it over to you so that way you can introduce yourself. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, uh, I am the Director of Operations and Marketing at Forward AI. We're the creator of Forwardly. Uh, hopefully you've heard about us. If you have, that's probably because I, I helped get it there. Um, Forwardly, uh, for myself, uh, I've been working with small businesses for most of my life. Uh, I've been doing small business marketing consulting for years, and uh, I went to school for marketing. Uh, I've been working with Forwardly and Forward AI for the last uh, two to three years and really excited to be here with uh, Liz and Heather today. I first met them at Scaling New Heights and it's been a blast ever since. So this is really fun to be here and be a part of the community. Um, so thank you for having me. We are um, certainly glad that you're here. Yeah. So uh, I am here to basically introduce Nick uh, and help answer questions throughout the webinar. Uh, I'll be in the background answering questions if anybody has any, but I do want to introduce to you Nick Chandy. He is the CEO and the 
brain man behind Forwardly. And I say that with a lot of enthusiasm because this man knows how money moves. Uh, it's usually harder to get him to shut up than it is to get him to start talking. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's going to be telling us a lot about the product today and meet Nick. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Jane. And uh, thank you, Liz and Heather for, for giving us an opportunity to talk about us and share what we have that we believe is going to change the world uh, in, in small business payments and uh, the, all the legacy prob problems that we face today. Uh, how they will be solved over time. And uh, I'm very happy to be here. A bit about me, uh, I have been working with accountants and bookkeepers, uh, accounting firms uh, for over 20 years. Uh, I built one of the largest IT consulting company in Canada. We were providing cloud hosting solutions and custom software development only to accountants and accounting firms. And we sold that business uh, in 2019. And uh, since then, uh, we have been focused on building this business and developing the technology uh, that we have here today. And uh, I, I participate um, uh, on online channels, uh, some uh, awards uh, committees that you can see on my profile here. And uh, I am the CEO and co-founder of Foverly. Uh, Forwardly is, is the fastest way to receive money from your clients. You might have seen solutions from Visa and MasterCard where they charge you one and a half, two percent, uh, and still you get the money in a few hours or the next business day. Uh, in some cases, credit card, three percent checks, you know, we take four hour uh, ACH, a uh, few business days. And now we have a solution in, in the market where money will be delivered and deposited into your bank account instantly within seconds. I'm talking about 15, 20 seconds instead of hours. So we're gonna talk about what's changing and, and how the technology came to US. And I am sure you all are going to learn a bit about how technology works and how it's going to change our world. And thank you again for everyone being here and. Thank you, Heather and Liz, too, for bringing us here and share what we have built. Well, thank you for being here. And, you know, one of the reasons that we are so excited about this uh, episode is that it's like you said, getting your money faster. So many of us are very familiar with apps on our phone where we're able to exchange dollars back and forth. But a lot of those solutions are designed for you know, individuals, it's not designed for business. And so what you're going to be seeing today, audience, is you're going to be seeing how to do that same type of transaction, but in a, where, a world where the environment is uh, for business. And so you've got more visibility into the activity, and yet you still have the same instant um, transfers. So I, I'm, I'm excited to bring that to everyone. Happy that you're here. Mm -hmm. Heather, you want to say thank you to our sponsors? I sure do. So we have an incredible uh, community of technology partners uh, for Appy Hour in 2023 and beyond. So a huge thank you to all of our amazing sponsors, including Forwardly. Uh, it's been an incredible year. We're going to continue. We're, we're excited to uh, see everyone at uh, QuickBooks Connect coming up soon. And um, yeah, thank you to everyone, you know, to all of our sponsors that have made Happy Hour possible. And what we are going to do is we're going to, uh, you know, with Forwardly here, we're going to make sure to understand what's happening and they're going to give us a really nice, Nick's going to walk us through how to's. While Nick is going through some of this presentation, Jane is in the background if you've got questions. So as always over in chat, if you've got questions and want some clarification, Jane's gonna be able to help you. And then Heather and I, of course, are always here. So if there's questions that you want us to share with Nick and ask live, please put those over into chat so that way we can ask those. Nick, at this time, I think I'm going to stop sharing because you have a presentation that I'd love for you to be able to share. 
skills and give me one second. And so while Nick's getting the presentation powered up, what I'm going to say is, you know, those those apps that have been out there for a while that aren't business friendly, that's where you're going to start to see some power in forwardly. And you're going to be like, why didn't we have this sooner? <laughs> so very exciting. Nick, it looks like you've got it pulled up. So I'm going to pass over to you. Thank you. Thank you again. All right. So uh, today is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to talk about how uh, a business can receive payment from other businesses in seconds. You might have seen this in, in, in apps like consumer apps, uh, like Venmo and other one, but we don't see those kind of things in business apps. And the way we brought it to B2B domain is, is very simple. In our app, uh, there are only three steps you need to take. Uh, first one is you, you connect your accounting system, like you connect your QuickBooks online or Zero. We fetch all your data, your customers, suppliers, outstanding invoices, bills that need to be paid, all those kind of uh, data sets that we need. And then we need to know, uh, we look at your chart of accounts and we know how many bank accounts you have. Uh, and we ask you to connect your bank account where you would like to be paid in, uh, where you would like to get paid. Uh, and you connect that bank account and you make a payment request. Uh, you can make one-time payment request. You can do auto collect. You know, in case uh, you would like us to get authorization from your clients so that in the future, in case you raise an invoice to them, we are going to automatically collect funds from their bank account and move them to your bank account. Just so you know, it's a bank to bank account transfer, like just like the result that you might have seen. But we, we try to provide the experience that we see in Venmo so that everything feels uh, instant and, and very fast, very accurate. And uh, so far you may not have a, seen a solution like this because uh, just because the technology wasn't available, uh, even though infrastructure was there, but you know there there was no app who was able to do it. And there are certain reasons, uh, business reasons, technical reasons, and we are going to touch uh, a little bit about them too. What happened and how how the world is changing. And we we all know that checks are very very slow, right? Uh, and uh, we, I was just reading an article from Zero. You know, they they do this accounting survey every quarter where they publish, and every time we are finding that average invoice, it takes 26, 27, sometimes 23. Always have been 20 plus days it takes to get the money in in the bank account, and part of the reason is we get the money through the traditional payment methods like OCH or checks or even credit cards. Uh, it takes few days to get the money in your bank account. All those kind of slow payments, they cause uh, cash flow gaps for small businesses. They do play a role in slowing down uh, our cash conversion cycle. And we know 82% of businesses do fail because of cash flow problems. Many of them, you uh, you know, they might have been profitable, but if you don't have the cash, the oxygen that, that you need at the right time uh, to do the payroll or pay rent, and uh, you will not survive. That ha we have seen many times, many businesses, they were profitable, they had millions of dollars in outstanding AR, uh, but you know they didn't have cash in the bank account to add new tables for the summer or, or buy inventory at a great discount and, and they have to fold their business over time. And uh, there was a survey done by Visa and, and other companies too. You know, every time we heard that uh, more and more consumers and businesses, they would like to pay instantly. I talked about Venmo and, and or Venmo took off, even though there, there was a PayPal and, the, and all the banks, you know, they, they have that kind of solution but just because they, they provide some kind of instant experience. Uber 
you you take the ride you know you don't you totally forget about how the payment will be done it it gets taken care of you automatically so that kind of experience we are expecting in our domain today uh, consumer domain everything has to happen instantly rather watching movie on netflix there was a time we used to rent dvds uh, but you know now we know we push the button and watch watch a movie on the tv today but payments are different you know any any time your clients pay you it's going to show up after 3 days in your bank account i know there are some uh, payment platforms or or proposal software they take 6 or 7 days to deliver you the money in your bank account so someone is earning interest on that money for 7 days uh, and but it, it does cause cash flow problems uh, and we know so many late payments those kind of things we we see all the time and there was a study and it showed 40% of small business assets they are almost always stuck in in, in accounts receivables that's some money that's owed to you by by big businesses or or other your counterparts almost a trillion dollar that, that's a lot of money and we need faster access to that kind of money and we have seen studies uh, from some platforms and uh, it showed more than 90% almost all of you have faced late payments and uh, we 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 know these kind of late payments whether check is still in the mail kind of problem or 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 the bank is closed because it's a holiday or it's a weekend all those kind of things that they do cause cash flow problems that that we see here well and you know i i would even i would even say one of the things that we've we've witnessed is apps like venmo that have became very normalized and it's because of the ease of use but those types in in you were talking about zell and those types of apps haven't traditionally been for business but businesses are using them And so yeah. up to this point I haven't seen a solution that was specific to business that would be able to accomplish the same money movement. And so for those of you who are joining us and are are trying to wrap your head around exactly what it is that we're talking about. This isn't really the bill, this isn't the this is more of the money movement. It's not really just the invoice, it's it's the actual receiving and sending of funds. that right. that kind of action is now available in a business platform so that way we're able to take advantage of these types of apps out there to be able to send and receive funds at that same rate and pace you are absolutely right here you know if you look at venmo or zelle you know anytime you receive money or send money you have to log into your quickbooks and reconcile it and record it right Uh, and that's a waste of time if you are doing hundreds of transactions and sometimes you forget and then you find you know the oh, what happened to this payment or did i receive the money on time or or which invoice is outstanding it become a really time consuming mess right and, and you so know business- it is cuz the reports are horrendous in these yeah. platforms and so what ends up happening is it's a huge strain on the accounting professionals and our clients to try and come up with a reliable way of reconciling that to the books and so it's a huge problem so absolutely and, and you know what what i see is i'll have a client who's maybe using venmo for example and i need to be able to know of these thousands of dollars that were transferred inside of venmo who was it to and why and they don't want to share logins they don't want to share some of these reports because there is a lot of personal spending that's happening there and then occasional business spending and so that's where i run into difficulties is being able to receive those reports receive those logins you know that kind of access so that way you know we can reconcile who did these dollars go to True. Absolutely. Yeah. And and you know the other thing is because these platforms aren't made for businesses the you know the 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 compliance reporting doesn't even exist. So Yeah, yeah. Yeah, on, on on any business platform, you know, we know we have this W9 and the 1099 sometimes they need to be issued and you know 
they have we, we need to have approval workflow all those kind of things and venmo doesn't have those kind of things you know that's true that's the truth yeah all right uh, coming back to the instant payments um they even though they are new relatively in our market but uh, worldwide uh, it's pretty common we were doing a, 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 a webinar and uh, an attendee that she told us that they visited south africa and they were surprised that we were still receiving money through checks and everything while instant there europe uk has been has faster payment uh, for many years now uh, and there are two gold standards of, in the fintech domain when we hear about what's happening in the worldwide, uh, like the PIX in Brazil and UPI in India. Uh, almost 70, 80% of the business uh, is done instantly in those countries. So anytime you raise an invoice and you get the money instantly in your bank account uh, from, from the payer, that's the kind of experience we, we see in those countries. And now we have that kind of experience would be available in, in, in US market as well. On a higher level, we, we have two solutions in, in, in US market. One is called RTP and other one is called FedNow. RTP uh, is a solution from a company called the Clearing House. Uh, I know it's a bit of a technical or educational here, but I think it'll give you a good understanding how the market is gonna evolve or what's happening in the market. So the clearinghouse company is owned by all the major banks that you know of, 20 plus banks, they, they own this company, clearinghouse ITP. And, and they came back with, with the, their faster payment solution in 2017. But you might have seen no bank has been promoting it. Now you may not have seen any, any advertising anywhere in the bank branch that they're not promoting it. So it's a bank to bank super highway where money can move really fast. Uh, only people who had access to this kind of technology was big companies like Microsoft or, or those kind of companies who, who, uh, who have some kind of corporate relationship with the big major banks, they were able to offer it. Most smaller banks, uh, as we know, there are close to 10,000 banks in, in the US market. They didn't have access to that kind of technology. So Federal Reserve, they came up with a new technology called FedNow that gave us the same experience like RTP. So collectively, we call these technology instant payments or faster payments or RTP or FedNow uh, they, they, they refer to more and more same thing. So the world is moving so that when you are sending money or receiving money, you will never know that whether you are receiving money through RTP or Fed now. For you, it's the instant money transfer that's happening in your bank account. RTP has been with us for many years, uh, but uh, this Fed now, it was launched just a few months ago in, in July. And it's just a few weeks old technology right now. And it's been tested and close to, uh, I would say less than 400 banks, uh, they, they're collectively part of it, uh, which you can see uh, not a major uh, change, but uh, what we see the number is expected to double within next year. Because as we know, anytime the Fed is behind any kind of technology, they really push for it and they're gonna promote it and they will make sure all the smaller banks, the local bank, local community banks, your credit union, they are able to participate and they are going to help you receive money faster and instantly. That's the focus has been here. And let's let's spend a few minutes how, how payments are being done today. Like I shared about the payment system, you send the money, but you get your money after three days, six days, seven days. So someone is earning interest at, at this time on that money. Uh, other situation you might have seen is anytime you have to do payroll, Liz, you can confirm this to me uh, as well. No, you have to send the money at least two days, three days in advance, sometimes even a week because there's a holiday or weekend coming up. Is that right? Understanding? 
Of course, yes. Yeah. So, and, and this might be shocking to you that the money you already sent for the payroll that is sitting in a bank and someone is earning interest. For example, if you look at the financial data or the reports that are publicly available from companies like ADP, they showed that they made more than half a billion dollars just from the interest income in 2021. I don't have last year data, but that's the kind of income they are making. I'm pretty sure the number should be more than that. That's a $500 million of interest income because we sent them the money two days early. And today we know uh, uh, there are banks that, that can offer you 3%, 4%, even a 5% interest rate too. So the money in, in the bank account has more value today. So we believe this, this kind of technology is going to give more value to you today because you will be, if you need to do payroll, you need to know, send money two days early. You will be able to send it the last minute or the last hour or on the last day. Uh, if you look at, uh, at the banks, you know, major banks in the US, they, if you look at the, the interest rate they are offering, they, that's pretty much close to zero. But there are smaller banks, neo banks, uh, uh, other banks who are offering four, 3% interest rate to us. But trillions of dollars is still sitting in these major banks, why? Because we are afraid that if there is an emergency and we need money on, on a Saturday at 10 a.m., we won't be able to access our money instantly. So when we have this kind of access to the technology, we'll be able to move money from one bank account to another bank account. We need, we can hold the bill payment till the last hour and push the button and make the bill payment on the last day. And we'll get the money in our bank account instantly as soon as it's get paid. So we believe this technology is going to reallocate value from, from the financial institutions or, or, or the middleman or intermediaries who are playing a role back to you because money in the bank always have more value, especially in the high interest rate environment we have today. Well, and you know, I would even say that might be part of the motivation that this type of money movement wasn't promoted before. And so it takes being able to have a solution like forwardly to be able to utilize those types of, of um, platforms that we can now take advantage of for these instant payments. Yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, here is a chart that you can that can give you some kind of visual experience how how speed is compared with the, with the traditional payment methods that are available to us. Like I shared, it's a any instant payment solution like Fed now. It's a it's a back end infrastructure that's available to banks. So it's a bank to bank super highway to move money faster, uh, just like ACH and other solutions. And we are the first company so, to bring a solution uh, based on the accounts receivable. And uh, we are also launching based on the accounts payable in, in next month, uh, based on that one, is so that you can experience is how, how the, when anytime a payment is made, the money shows up in your bank account. You need not to wait till end of the day to see if, if the bank feed updates. Again, uh, to, to summarize again, you know, it's, it's, we made it very, very simple. You connect your accounting system, you connect your bank, bank account where you would like to receive the money in and we'll get it done. It will get you paid in seconds. And that brings to our drink slide here. <laughs> so, as always, Heather and I enjoy this part. This is something that, uh oh, you're on mute. This is something that traditionally Heather and I have enjoyed seeing what the cocktails that are created. And this one has got a clever name and 
absent. So, I mean, you, you always have me whenever we've got a rinse of abs- absent. I agree. Absinthe is actually one of my favorites. And I think it's because it's got such a mysterious and, and a little bit off limits uh, reputation. It actually was outlawed um, for many years. And I think it may still be outlawed in some states, Um, but uh, it is delicious and it tastes a little bit like, well, it it has a very unique taste. Um, But yeah, so this is a really awesome drink and I love the name and I feel like the accountant reviver number two, I love it because I feel like we're going into a new era era of renaissance in the accounting industry where we're kind of redefining ourselves. And so I think this is a really iconic drink name. So thank you. Nice. All right. So I believe now I'm, you guys can still see my screen here. So I'm going to take you through a quick demo and, and the, please, Feel free to bring your questions uh, and we'll try to answer here or maybe I'll answer at the end or maybe Jane will be able to answer them too. All right, so this is a here you see your screen anytime you connect your accounting system or or, 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 or bank account, uh, uh, you, you get a dashboard you where you can see not only your company data, but you can also have your client's data as well here too. So uh, we know a lot of the keepers and accountants, they have access to their bank accounts too. Uh, They can onboard those kind of clients as well in case they want to receive payments from them in some kind of automated way. It's a very simple process. You know, you click on add a business in case you want to, oops, you want to add a client, give me one second and uh, I'll, I'll try to find in here, Jim. Cursed by our security protections. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, you know, here on Happy Hour, we're always talking about tech and security, how the two of those go hand in hand. So you don't disappoint us at all whenever we see, you know, best practices used. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just a part of the, I believe, the QuickBooks compliance requirement to get your app listed. You know, we cannot have very long sessions. So we had to time out. And obviously, I have been here for more than half an hour or so. All right. So anytime you, you would like to add a new client, you know, very simple process. You, you start the process. And in case you would like to connect the accounting system, you can do it or, or you can completely skip this step. And also, uh, so no, this is a solution that is that works only for U.S. B2 business to business payment. Currently, our solution uh, is just for B2B. Uh, we are planning to bring uh, C2B as well, but it's it it's just like ACH domestic payment only. So you provide us some uh, basic information about the client name or business type for their EIN number and, and that's it and, and get it going. Very simple, very easy to get started or onboard a client here. And you will see all of them. And you can also invite business owners as well so that they can also log into the platform and, and see what's happening there. You can invite your team as well other team member and you can in uh, you can assign them uh, permission to different clients you'll be able to do all those kind of things and even the business owners they can also invite uh, other staff members as well so when i de- uh, de- uh, uh, click on it i, I see a, a simple dashboard of that company and you can see these are two chart of accounts that we see in our quickbooks they're coming from QuickBooks and some bank balance, what we see. And this is the data that's coming from the bank. Here are two dummy banks that we have added. It's coming directly from your bank account. We use a, a technology partners, Plaid uh, and uh, Plaid and Orem. So we work with Plaid here to fetch all the, your bank feed and bank data, your transaction and all that kind of information, what you see. So higher level view of your receivable, payable, cash flow, and, and some insights, what's happening with your business. Uh, 
any invoices overdue, any bill overdue, all those kind of things. And today I'm going to spend my time on, on displaying how, how platform works and you'll find it, it's very, very simple, very easy. So we, we fetched all the invoices. It was synced an hour, two minutes ago, as you can see here uh, from QuickBooks Online. Uh, and any you see here on this dashboard is this your bank balance and these are the outstanding invoices. Uh, and you have already received payments from some of the clients and the data is already synced with QuickBooks that we see here as well. So in case uh, you want to receive, let's do a test transaction here, uh, $500, I'm going to request a payment uh, for this invoice here. So you will see uh, this will, uh, I'm requesting a payment from my this pair. Uh, this is an amount and I would like to have money coming into this bank account, straight to this bank account, not, not going to any wallet, it's not going to sit anywhere on a on a middle wallet or, or some kind of pre-fund account where I need to keep the money, nothing like that. And we, we, we do send a copy of the invoice. We fax the invoice door straight from QBO zero and we, we attach it. And here's the feature auto collect. So you have the ability to auto collect payments from your clients anytime you, you you issue them invoice in QuickBooks Online, let's say on, on a weekly or monthly or quarterly basis. Anytime an invoice is created in QBO, we are going to fetch it and we are going to automatically collect payment for you on your behalf. You can request authorization for that kind of payment by turning on this option. Currently it's off, but I, I, I'm going to turn it on uh, and uh, let's see what happens. So I'm going to make a request to make me a payment. So in this case, uh, so I already made a payment request as you can, the status is requested. And if I go for auto pay, you can see that I have made a payment request here. And now I'm gonna bring how it's going to look like on your client side. And let's see if this uh, had also timed out or it's still there. Okay, it's still there. All right, so this is a session for your PL. Uh, so the same client uh, that need to make you build payment, and they, they look at their company books. So you can see we, we missed the connection to connect an accounting system here, uh, but I'm gonna go to the bills that they need to pay. You can see this is a bill that we just made a payment request to them. And uh, I can look at, at the invoice, click on the button and see how it looks like. And I'm going to quickly push the button here and click on pay now. Yeah. Uh, as you can see uh, who requested it, uh, it's the company, this requested it, this is the amount, and this is a bank account from which I am going to make payment from. Yeah. So, in our technology, you don't you need not to share any account number or routing number with with, the, with your counterparty, uh, and you you sh you connect your bank account. Your your client they can also connect the bank account where they would like to pay you from, and there's no need to share an accounting number, routing number on a piece of paper or email or PDF sitting around. And if you look at those those uh, uh, those. Uh, unauthorized debit or, or the check uh, being stolen, you know, we, we, can, we can eliminate all the, those kind of problems if we, if we stop sharing account numbers with anyone. Well, all right, so- You know, Nick, what I, what I see here is you've got control on both sides. So as somebody who's requesting to have reoccurring authorization, so making sure that moving forward, we're not missing any payments, you know, I don't necessarily want to have my client's information. And it's like you said, they don't always want to share it. So these are the types of portals that we are looking for, our clients are looking for. They want to be able to have a dashboard, see all the activity and control the authorization and sharing of the funds. That's right. We, we have been doing it so far because previously we didn't have 
access to open banking technology like Plaid. We didn't have companies like Plaid. They came only in the last five, 10 years, right? So they, they, have, they have made it easier to, to uh, build these kind of platforms where you need not to share any of the data. So you don't want to have a, any bank account information, any account number. You need not to remember those ones. The way you verify, I'm pretty sure you, almost all of you may have used it, just like the way our bank sheets work, right? We log into bank account and with our login ID and password and we, we authorize, right, uh, for the bank sheet. The same technology is working here uh, to, to protect the bank account information so there's no need to share with your counterparty anymore. All right, so I am on a pair screen here and I have two options here right now. I can authorize and send payment where I can authorize it for future payments as well. So anytime you raise an invoice, so your invoice will be paid automatically based on, on, on the due date. And if I don't like the idea and I don't want you to pre-authorize my account, uh, then I can also make you one-time payment. So let's say how, um, maybe I'm gonna click on send payment, maybe one-time payment only. So it's gonna send me one-time password to the person who is logged in. We track who is logged in, who is doing the transaction, so that in case of fraud, we, we can check what, what's happening. So we, we got this OTP as a test transaction, and, and that's it, and you are done. So the payment has been done, and uh, let's see what, what's happening. Uh, now I'm on, as you can see, it, it shows here processing. Uh, it shows here processing, and uh, let's go back to here as well. What's happening here? It shows here as well processing. So give it, give it a second or so, it, it will be done, and we will see the payment has been done. It shows pending here. The sync status shows when it's going to sync with QuickBooks Online. And as you can say, say, uh, see here that the payment has synced here and payment has been done. It's gone from here and it should be here, here now. So that's the core of our technology, uh, the way it works. And I'm going to spend a few more minutes on, on the payer side here, the bills that have been paid. Uh, as you can see, you can send up to $10,000 of payment every day. We have some limits. Uh, for those instant payment solutions, uh, the CNO uh, for Fed now, they, they have a half a million dollar limits on their end. And what happens, the bank in the middle, they, they also put their limits on transactions as well. Maybe 100K or 50K, whatever the limit is. Then on top of uh, that, uh, fintech companies like us who actually build the system to move the money, uh, they, they also put some kind of limit. Uh, right now, standard means say, you know, you it's gonna be the same day ACH is called standard payment on our platform. And instant is, as you know, it's a 15, 20 second kind of instant payment solution uh, if your bank supports it. Uh, today. So that's the way our technology works. And we are willing to increase the limit. If you think that you need higher limits, you are doing higher transactions, uh, talk to us and we'll be able to increase your limits as well on, on that side too. Any questions? Yes, I'd love to ask a question. So while you're still in demo mode, do you mind going back to the screen where you were, were sharing either as the business who is sending the request or the, the business who is receiving that request, either one. What I'm seeing in the top right is a name and it looks like a drop down. Is That's that right. for multiple different users? What's the what's what what's being yeah. here? That's right. Uh, here, the technology, uh, the platform we have built it, uh, multi, uh, multiple users, they can log in and they can make, a, in this case, you're looking at a screen of a, a peer who is making the payment. 
So these people, they can make the payment. We believe it might be the business owner, it might be, it might be an accountant or bookkeeper who would like to make the payment. So anytime you make the payment, we track it, who is logged in, what time, what payment they made. And the one-time password the, uh, that went to the cell phone or mobile phone, that goes to the user who is logged in. On the other side, uh, the screen that I showed you before, this was an accounting practice screen that I showed you. Here you can see there's a button, another button called practice setting. So we understand in, in an accounting firm, there could be more than one user uh, who might need access to one company file. So you can add those people here as well. Nice, so, so you've set this up so that way there's an accountant visibility, not just the business owner and, is that is is my I guess my question is is are there different user permissions with the different types of users that I'm seeing here? Yes, yes, we do have a, some some permissions, a user permissions. Uh, like if you have a admin role or you are a business owner, you can do almost everything here. Uh, but uh, if you are just a staff, uh, there are certain things you cannot do it. Like for auto payment collection. It has to come from an advisor. It has to come from the business owner who has access to the bank account. So we we we, we show all those kind of things uh, and under business settings here, uh, where we collect who who are the business owners, uh, and uh, you know we need some information about them in case you know they they need article they need to do auto collect from their clients because it, it's a it's a kind of we are moving money here. So we need to be in compliance of a money laundering or, 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 or those kind of compliance requirement, making sure the money is being moved due to legitimate business reasons. Um, here is the screen where you can change the bank account and which bank account you would like to receive money in or which bank account you would like to send money from, those kind of things. And that type of authorization and verification is is pretty traditional amongst all of these various different apps. That's uh, right. Yeah, it's just, it has become a standard thing. You might have seen in almost all consumer apps, they do this kind of authorization through Plaid. And uh, so that's a similar technology that we see in consumer space. Even Square or Venmo, they, they, they also ask you to connect a bank account where they debit the money from. So similar technology, you know, where you make a bank connection. Very nice. And, and you know, while you're sharing screen here, you know, one of the things that, that jumps out is that navigation bar that says auto pay. And the auto pay, is that going to be the functionality where we can see all of our auto payments that we're receiving? Or is this all of the ones that we're sending out? You will receive both here. You, uh, for example, we did one transaction here uh, for this company, Maple Syrup. We made a request, but they didn't accept it yet. Uh, you saw it, I didn't accept it. I just made a one-time payment. Okay? So maybe I can accept or they can accept it later on. Uh, or you, when I make a new payment request, I can make another payment request and ask them to request it. Uh, but here you will see all the customers who are on the auto pay. Okay? And we are building the technology here too, so that you can just make a payment request for the auto collection. So just like a pre-authorization for the auto collect the you, kind of thing. Um, and, and I can see the use case for many different scenarios. While this, uh, while I'm gonna talk about some of those different scenarios, Heather, I think this is a great time for the poll and thank you for launching. You know, one of the scenarios that I think about is subscription-based clients. So I've had clients in the past that there's been some type of monthly service that they offered and it was a subscription. Um, you know, I've had internet clients and I've had um, alarm service types of clients and all of those are reoccurring payments. They've struggled with the access and wanting to connect multiple different clients to a portal that everybody can see. 
There's some industry specific tools that are out there, but they're very expensive and they still don't integrate well with their accounting. So this is fantastic. And let me, Nick, you know, this is new technology to me. So I want to ask, you know, questions. What I saw earlier was the integration to QuickBooks Online. And if there was open AR, that automatically syncs over into Forwardly. And that's then that's correct. That is okay. Correct, yes. That's what I thought. And then with the email address being visible, then automatically that request would be sent off to the potential customer. That is correct. That is correct. And then right there, I can see the request. And is there a bulk request? Like maybe I've got um, several that I want to send off at one time. Is that possible? We, we, we don't have bulk uh, request uh, for the payments, but we have a bulk uh, uh, bill payment kind of features coming up. Uh, we are launching a bill payment feature uh, next month and where you'll be able to schedule your bill payments. Uh, and, uh, you know, there, you can make more than one bill payments with one click. Yeah, we, 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 we are launching that one. So that feature would be there. And we don't I, have it right now, but we can definitely add it uh, if uh, accountants, bookkeepers, they need it. And we get the feedback. Yes, we would like to have multiple payment requests at one time. We would, we would like all our clients to be on, on pre-authorized debit. Yeah, we can do those kind of things as well. You know, it it's, it's a little surprising that we haven't had something like this before that was in the business world. It feels like it's easy to understand because we have had this in our personal lives. And so it, it's nice to be able to have the visibility that we're lacking in some of these other instant payment platforms. Yeah. Right? And, and, and I believe, you know, the adoption is going to up because it's a very price competitive way, way cheaper than credit cards and uh, way, mm -hmm. uh, very price competitive with ACH. Like on our platform, same day ACH is free. We find the same day ACH is outdated technology. It's, it's very, very slow. It's based on uh, based on, on, on the settlements that happens overnight. And if you send a payment after hours on Friday, you are not going to get it till Monday. That's the way same day as you to work. Uh, but those kind of, uh, if your bank doesn't support instant payment, we send payments via same day as you. If you allow me to share a screen about the pricing too, uh, I would appreciate that. Because that, those are the kind of things that are going to uh, improve the adoption of, of this kind of technology uh, as well. Uh, you can see the pricing uh, for us is uh, 1% plus $1 and we cap it at uh, $10. Uh, so you, even if you do a $10,000 transaction, it will never be more than $10 fee. Uh, and uh, like I shared the same day as yet, in case uh, you receive a payment uh, through uh, same day as yet, you get it for free. And uh, the way technology work is we, if someone makes a $500 payment, we are not going to deduct the fee at the same time. You will see a full $500 of deposit in your bank account. So it's very simple to reconcile. Mm -hmm. And uh, you will also see very rich data, your invoice number and other data in the bank feeds. We didn't have these kind of things with ACH before, but now with instant payments, just because they support big um, or, or higher level of pipe or a bigger data transaction. So those kind of uh, information would be available in your bank feeds as well. That's going to streamline the life of or the working uh, work of accounting profession as well. So coming back to same thing, Liz, you know, now we have this technology that's price competitive, that's, that's instant. And we believe it's going to take market share from checks or ACH and potentially credit cards too. I agree. And Heather, do we want to close that poll? I did. So I closed the poll. I gave a, a 10 second warning and closed the poll. So thanks everybody for, uh, for chiming in there. This is fantastic. And it is really, you know, uh, reasonable for, uh, for companies. 
you know, is there any plan to have this embedded within QuickBooks Online? Um, are you guys working on that at all? Uh, not at this time that it, it can show up automatically in QuickBooks Online, uh, but we'll keep our options open and as opportunity arrives, we are going to talk to them, talk to other accounting systems as well so that the technology sure. could be available to inside QuickBooks Online and other platforms. Yeah. Yes. I love it that you're talking about other platforms because we have people who yes. are in various yeah. different platforms. Absolutely. Well, thank you for sharing. And, you know, here's more information right here. So you've got the subscription, um, zero cost, and then the, the free same day and um, the free auto payment feature. So I, I want to thank you for bringing this technology to us. I think that it's, you know, something that will continue to see this type of payment being offered inside of the business space. We've been needing something like this. So it, it's wonderful to have you here. I think that um, everybody who's here is getting a little bit of a, a, a you know, jump start on mm -hmm. the opportunity to have a, a move away from platforms that are instant payments that are not for business. So right. there's, there's tools here and, um, you know, the visibility is what I'm always looking for, especially it's, you know, no, towards the end of year, we're not quite there yet, but this is the time of year whenever we start to go through and look at what are the various different payments and who are they issued to. And anytime I see one of the instant payments, I know it's something that we have to build a report and send it over and start asking questions right away because it takes a lot of research. So this definitely cuts down on the work that we have to do. Absolutely. And this is also the time where people are looking at updating their processes, both internally and with their clients. And so it's a great time for people to be looking at what's working um, and also looking for ways to reduce the spend and, and saving on those processing fees is always a great place to start. So uh, again, thank you to all of our sponsors, including, of course, our friends at Forwardly. Um, we're so excited to have you on board and thank you for uh, this incredible session and for bringing this, uh, this really cutting edge technology to us. It's been fantastic. You're welcome. And one last thing uh, I would like to add is we have a free CPE webinar. Uh, if someone wants to learn more about the technology, uh, and the deep dive into and uh, how it can be embedded into their workflow. We have a free CPE webinar. Uh, the link is on our website. Uh, please visit us uh, at forwardly.com. Awesome. And I think Jane had shared the link for that webinar in the chat too. So if you want to head over okay. there, take a peek. Um, and maybe Jane, you could throw it in there again, just so it floats to the top. Yeah, of course, of course. And uh, also don't forget, don't forget to come by our booth. We'll be at QuickBooks Connect if anybody else will yes. be. We'll be having some really exciting stuff going on. So don't forget to stop by. And, and Liz and I will definitely be stopping by to, to hang out and chat too. So we're yeah. excited about that. So thanks everybody for joining us today. Uh, we always love seeing you. Please do visit the Forwardly website. If you answered the poll that you would like more information, we're gonna forward that information on over to Jane and Nick and their team. And someone will reach out to you with more information on how to get started with Forwardly. Uh, please do join our Happy Hour Lounge Facebook group. Uh, and the URL is there on your screen. And if you're joining us from Facebook Live right now, we invite you to join Zoom. You can register. Um, for these episodes, come on into our Zoom room and interact with uh, other attendees and, of course, our wonderful app partners. Um, we're super excited to have a deep dive into Client Hub on October 10th. So our good friend Judy McCarthy is going to be coming back with us again to show us all the new features that have come out in Client Hub uh, since their last appearance uh, on Appy Hour. So really looking forward to that. Uh, following up on the 24th, we're going to do another firm spotlight. And then we're going to be in person on November 14th at QuickBooks Connect in Vegas, baby. So uh, hopefully if you're going to be there um, with us, uh, we, we look forward to seeing you. And I just want to also uh, reach out, let everybody know that Liz and I are hitting the road again. So we are, uh, Appy Hour is going to be part of the Woodard Ideal Practice Symposiums. 
uh, which is launches the first week of November. And we're going to be starting in Atlanta, Georgia. It's a two-day event where we're going to be bringing Joe Woodard's uh, uh, components, seven components of the ideal practice, which is going to be a very intense workshop to help you uh, outline how do you create that practice of your dream. And Liz and I are going to be there to help teach. And we're also going to be doing a, uh, a live happy hour episode. So hope to see you there. We'll be joined with lots of our app partners and friends. Uh, and we're hoping that, that, that you'll join us for that. So look for more information on our, our uh, Facebook page. And then you can also head over to woodard.com to find out uh, how to register. Fantastic. Well, thank you all of the attendees and special thank you to Nick and Jane for joining. We appreciate the, the glimpse into what technology is out there that maybe not everybody has heard about. So I appreciate you bringing something new to our audience. Thank you. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Liz. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.